Okay, hello Cloud Gurus, and welcome to AWS This Week. We've got some cool announcements this week, like the ability to encrypt unencrypted Redshift clusters, Lambda announces a new SLA, and now allows you to manage and monitor your serverless applications. Lightsail announces managed databases, you no longer need to an associate certification to see the professional certification, and we announce the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Julian Pittis. Redshift has now announced the ability to encrypt your unencrypted clusters with just one click. The service allows you to use your own AWS KMS key, and once started, it'll automatically migrate your data to a new encrypted cluster. When you do choose to migrate, the Redshift cluster will be in read-only mode, but it does give you encryption at rest, which is a requirement for GDPR. The Lambda team have a few more announcements since last week's 15-minute runtime announcement. They've published a new service level agreement stating that they'll try and keep Lambda available 99.95% of the time per month per region. Customers are eligible for compensation should it fall below the 99.95 availability mark. And finally, my favorite announcement from the team was the release of the new Applications tab in the Lambda console. The tab allows you to manage and monitor your serverless applications, view traffic, errors, and performance as a whole application. They group your application together based on the cloud formation template that you use to deploy your app, giving you oversight on the resources and the performance of your serverless applications. Amazon LightSail announces the addition of managed databases to its easy to use interface. This now allows anyone using LightSail to create a fully configured database within minutes with SSD back storage, data transfer allocation, and management tools, starting at just $15 a month. LightSail will manage all of the database operations for you and as a benefit, give you free automated backups and point-in-time restores. If that's not enough, you can opt for one of the high availability plans or perform on-demand database snapshots. Now, for those of you who've always wanted their professional certification, but you didn't want to go through the hassle of getting the associate levels first, AWS has announced that you no longer need the associate level certs in order to sit your professional exams. Along with this announcement, they've also released two new beta exams for the Certified Solution Architect Professional Exam and the Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. Now the beta exams are half price of non-beta exams, so it might be worthwhile getting yours now before they become generally available and more expensive. Moving on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer was A. Now there are a lot of you that had the correct answer, but the one that stood out to us and the Guru of the Week winner is Bharat Chopra. Bharat is a software and engineer at Renewby. Congratulations, Bharat. You can expect a t-shirt, a sticker, and a signed card in the mail. And you're in the draw to win a free reInvent 2019 ticket. For everyone else, please visit the link on the screen now for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. That's all for now. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and we'll see you next week. Bye.